Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Grace here today. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video is going to be my hospital bag video. <laughs> here except for my fiance's stuff which is in his own book bag which is literally just like clothes for him and stuff so um I have everything for me and baby girl in this bag right here um so let's get started first we have this blanket that is for her but more so for mama because um mama likes fuzzy blankets hers is too big to fit in the bag and i heard hospital blankets are <laughs> pretty uncomfortable so i have this to snuggle her and me with <laughs> i'm definitely gonna lay with it until she you know makes her appearance and try to sleep with this while we wait Especially like if it's nighttime and you know you have to wait to dilate. So I'm gonna try to take naps if I can. Which my luck I probably won't. But yeah, soft blanket um is number one. Number two is a towel because I heard that the hospital towels are very uncomfortable and I know that I'm going to get to take a shower afterwards so I just brought my own towel to make myself feel more at home. Um, next I have body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. Pretty simple, I'll leave that at that. Um, next thing I'm just going to show you guys everything for me first. Um, I brought some fuzzy socks. Because um, I heard a lot of people want fuzzy socks when they're in the hospital. So um, I brought my own fuzzy socks because I'm obsessed with them anyways. Uh, and I just want to be as comfortable as I possibly can be. Uh, then I also brought some fleece leggings to most likely wear home if I don't wear my spandex home um just because they're super comfortable and very loose and soft like the interior is literally like I don't know it's just really soft I don't know if you guys can see but it's soft Um, next for me is just three pairs of, um, underwear that I don't care about because, you know, I'm gonna be a mess afterwards and, you know, I'm gonna need something to hold everything together, uh, that can get messed up. Next, we have a pink robe that I ordered from Victoria's Secret. Um, then I have toothpaste, hand sanitizer, and makeup wipes. Just because I know that if we end up going and I have makeup on my face, I'm probably going to want to wipe it off. Um, if I do my makeup in the hospital after she's born and we take pictures, I'm taking it off. Um, yeah, so that's just that. Um... And we're actually not having people visit us in the hospital, but, um, I'm still bringing hand sanitizer for us just because I love hand sanitizer. Actually, I want some now. Um, but yeah, definitely was bringing hand sanitizer either way. Okay. Next, we have a tank top 
black tank top and black spandex for me because that is where I'm most comfortable, what I'm going to be most comfortable in, easiest thing to slide on and off really. Um, and then I have a black sports bra as well. Um, just plain black sports bra. Um, now I think we're on to baby girls. Oh, one more thing. Chapstick. I would die if I did not have chapstick. So I put this cocoa butter formula chapstick in the bag. Um, okay, so the first thing that I packed for baby girl is a swaddle and headband that matches my robe. Um, I didn't want to spend a lot on a matching robe from Posh Peanut. If anyone knows what that is, their robes tend to be a little pricey. And I had a coupon for Victoria's Secret. So I just got her swaddle and headband off of Posh Peanut and I didn't get the matching robe. I just ordered one that was a similar color on Victoria's Secret with my coupon. So, um, I got this swaddle for baby girl and the inside of it oh no the other one is reversible well, this one isn't um so it's just striped uh then we have a matching headband um i brought her some mittens just in case she tries to scratch her face at all and then I also brought her some socks and a onesie, which is most likely going to be her coming home outfit. And if it's chilly, we'll just swaddle her up. Because um, she is due at the end of April, so if she does stay in that long, then it should be pretty warm. And just a onesie, socks, and a blanket should be good enough. Um... If it is chilly, however, I did pack, oh, I did pack another onesie, just in case, you know, babies have accidents, accidents happen, etc. Um, I did bring a sleeper, well, no, not a sleeper, just like a little pajama set, really, and it has the mittens on the sleeves already, and it's just a long sleeve one, and then it has built-in feet. So if it's a little chilly, this will be her coming home outfit. And then I just packed an extra headband. Which I probably don't really need, but it's here. And um, that's all that I have in the bag. Um, but obviously I'm going to bring my camera and my, um, battery charger, an extra battery that is charged for the camera, um, and then I'm going to bring, like, phone chargers and etc. Mm, that'll be pretty much it. Um, I might even pack some snacks for afterwards because I know that... I'm gonna wanna eat. I'm an eater, I love to eat. Um, and once she's out and I can eat, I'm eating. <laughs> that is a fact. But yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that that's all that I, well, that's obviously all I have in this bag. But, um, I think that that's all that I'm bringing, except for things that I can't put in there until the last minute, like a toothbrush and a phone charger and my camera. Um, yeah, uh, going back to the camera part, because I will be doing a labor and delivery vlog for you guys, so that will be a video. Also, before I end this video, my next video is going to be a Q&A, so if you guys have any pregnancy-related questions, then please drop them in the comments below or go over to my Instagram and drop them 
on any of my pictures at all. Um, but, you know, get juicy um, with the questions. Ask whatever you want to know. I'm very open to answering any types of questions. Um, I mean, this video... Um, I mean, they gotta be pregnancy related. This isn't just gonna be a Q&A. But if you guys are interested in a normal Q&A, then also let me know. Because I would love to film one of those. Or if you want me and my fiance to film a Q&A together and like introduce him to my channel, then comment that down below. Um, I think that we were planning on doing that anyway before the labor and delivery vlog, just so it's less like awkward. Because he's obviously going to be the one filming for most of it, not me. Um, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, I guess that's all for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one.